I just feel like clickbaiting somebody. Like, you know, with the booming shirt, and I just hold up the Yeezy and the and the Rihanna and the. I don't like being childish, but it might be clickbait. Now tuned into the motherfucking greatest. <laughs> What is going on YouTube? Mark Kicks here with another video and you know it's Christmas time. Merry Christmas to all of you. Hope you guys have a good holidays. But you know we're coming with the kind of end of the year themed videos. And I gotta start the first one off with a video everybody liked last year. So my top five sneaker pickups of 2016. You know, it's been it's been a good year for sneakers. Honestly, Adidas came up. You had the Rihanna Pumas for the girls. You know, that went crazy. There was a lot of collabs. Pharrell, Yeezy, Rihanna, uh, Ronnie Feek. That's childish. But you, everybody was coming out with collabs. And there was some crazy stuff going on. But these are my top five sneaker pickups. It have to be shoes I picked up. I'm not going to make a list and be like... OVO 12 and shoes that I didn't get to cop, so that will not be on the video. But you know, honorable mentions, we may have like a Space Jam, a True Blue 3, uh, maybe like a, I don't know, I think the Beluga Colorway V2. But as top five, as it goes, number five on the list, we start with Jordan Brand and the Cement 4 OG. This shoe is beautiful. The material on this shoe is absolutely amazing to me. And like, I, I would wear it a lot more if I didn't have so many sneakers. But if this was one of the Jordans and you told me I could only keep like a five pairs of Jordans, this would definitely make the list. It's just good materials all around. And obviously that Nike Air is just beautiful. So number five, we got the Cement 4. Number four, I tried my best, y'all, to keep a Yeezy off the list. But the more I look at them and the more I wear them, I really like this colorway. I have every V2 colorway. This by far is my favorite. So it had to make the list. You know, V2, you can't leave it off. Uh, definitely. Just the uh, infrared. I don't, know, I don't know what color they would actually call in these, but to me, it's infrared. And honestly, just looks nice. I think it's the nicest looking V2. But you know, some people may not appreciate the Yeezy love. But number four. Now number three, two shoes, but kind of the same concept. Not the same concept, but Jordan 1 Retro. You always gotta have a Jordan 1 high. It's just not, it's just not fair. OG, you, it's just not fair. So we go with the Black Toe Ones, which I just got to Undies yesterday, if you saw my Instagram. The Black Toe Ones. And a new shoe, the top three. I think both of them are just so clean looking. They both just look so clean on feet. Look at look how these look. They just look so clean. And it's hard not to wear a Jordan 1. And I personally do not like the creases, so I always wear sneaker shields. But Jordan 1 still look good no matter what. Shoes, shoes I can't get enough of. And I said they weren't top three, but they might be top three. Eh. Yeah, they might be top three. I take it as like, oh, Marcus, you made a video about the top three Jordans and you said they weren't top three. Yes, I said this, but the Jordan 1 Retro and the releases they had this year, I think it's top three. I don't know. They came out with it. They came out with quite a bit of heat. Shatter backboards, uh, 2.0, all that stuff. So maybe not just this, but it's just in general, we'll give it a top three. We'll give it that. And then number two, Adidas. You've done it. <laughs> you did it. We got the gold medal Ultra Boost. This is flames. Uh, the design on the toe always kind of trips me out. Like the like greenish blue in the toe box. But other than that, that gold, beautiful. And I wear this shoe a lot because Ultra Boost still the most comfortable shoe ever. If you are... I know some of you are team Nike. That's how my cousin, what well, my cousin's husband is. Just straight team Nike and we can't rock Ultra Boost and we can't rock Adidas. But if you get the chance to rock any pair of Adidas, 
and you want to see what the hype is about about the comfort put on an ultra boost i love the ultra boost model and this happens to have be a fire colorway so that plus the comfort you can't beat this shoe it goes with me on every trip i go number two gold medal they killed the olympic series the silver bronze gold they killed jordan jordan came out with like some weird jordan's eyes and number one as many of you know a shoe a collab with adidas that i i you know i just couldn't get enough of i think ever since when they put came out with the friends and family pair the pair that's selling for like six thousand dollars now with like chinese lettering the adidas pharrell human race i love this shoe it's just you know it's just so weird and so perfect and the colorways just look absolutely beautiful you wear these on your foot tell me you're you're, you're not breaking necks you got human being on the top of your foot bro you're breaking necks this colorway is absolutely gorgeous this blue is absolutely gorgeous the pharrell and adidas on the back is absolutely gorgeous the pressure points on the inside of the shoe are absolutely gorgeous and it's in obviously we got boost material and i almost dropped it but we got boost it's, it's it's the number one pick you can't drop it you can't it's the number one pick i love this shoe i also have the black pair but man boy the shoe is greatness it's greatness honestly so that is the top five cements yeezy v2 the jordan one in general but the black toe top three shattered all that combined bread ones i'm sorry i forgot to even say bread ones the the bread ones the all that together is number three gold ultra boost from the olympics number two i poked myself in the face at number one for real so that's it so that's it. The top five Mark Kicks sneaker pickups. Let me know your top five. You know, put it in the comments. You know, don't do nothing crazy. Don't laugh at people's top fives because you know it's it's about what you picked up. If you weren't able to pick up some of the hyper stuff, Adidas, I mean Yeezys and top threes and human race, then leave it at that. But you know, I did like it, it's not all about resale value because obviously more shoes I picked up in 2016 have more resale value than a lot of these sneakers. But it's not about that. You got to mix everything, you know, quality, you know, I always say hype, but I don't know, colorway. And that's just what it is. But you know, Mark Kicks, Merry Christmas. Don't ask me how business is. You can tell by the flex. Shout out to Ben. But that's it. That's it. Then bless up. We'll catch you on the next video. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, we're gonna have fun until January 1.